AITA? For refusing to give my daughter her room back? I'm a father of two, Natalie, age 24 and, Jonathan, age 17. Jonathan had mobility issues throughout his childhood and it got worse as he grew up. He became a full-time wheelchair user two years ago after he had a serious accident that left him in a worse state than he was before. Natalie moved out for college at the age of 18 and then moved in with her now ex-boyfriend. Now I need to mention that because Natalie is my oldest she had the bigger room in the house. Jonathan had the smaller room which was fine by him but now it's different. With the major changes in his life and needing a wheelchair to move around I have considered to move him into Natalie's old room that she hasn't used in years. I first called her to let her know and she gave me the green light to go ahead and do what's best for her brother and make his life easier. I renovated it and added things in it to accommodate Jonathan's needs and it cost money. Remember that was almost two years ago. Few days ago Natalie called saying she had a huge fight with her now ex after she caught him with someone and was staying at the hotel. We talked a little and she asked me to empty her bedroom and move Jonathan back to his old room. Because she wanted hers back and said it'd be cool if her mom and I prepare it for when she moves in with us. I was taken aback completely. I said I can't move Jonathan out since he needs the room. I explained he needs the space to move freely but she said it's her room no matter how many years. She has been away from home. I called her unreasonable and reminded her that she said I could give the room to Jonathan but she said she wants it and expects to have it back now. We went back and forth on this issue and I refused to give it back to her. She threw a fit saying I should be supporting her and giving her shelter in this hard time and I replied I know she's struggling and she's welcome to come but the room was off limits. She got more upset saying I was favoring Jonathan over her and got my wife feeling guilty saying she will be staying at the hotel till we tell her her room was ready for her which I declined to do and said she could stay there then. This morning I found out my wife's been sending her money to pay for her hotel stay and she's been telling the family I'm keeping her out of the house. In my defense I told them Natalie wants the room but Jonathan needs it and I already spent money to renovate it. You'd be supporting her just fine to give her the room that used to be Jonathan's. Stop your wife from paying for her hotel. That's some entitlement make sure I'm more important than my brother or I'll sulk here at your expense. NTA. NTA and WTF with your wife. Two? She's throwing you under the bus because you want your son to live comfortably? Your daughter and wife need a serious reality check. Or heart check. Make sure they still have them. NTA. 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 At all. Natalie moved out. And the room reverted from being her room to being a room in your house. Which you, gifted, to your son. She has no rights to that room. It is now Jonathan's room. Natalie's quality of life will not decrease significantly by moving into a smaller room. But Jonathan's will. So NTA. NTA. She has a very entitled attitude T-O-R-W-A-R-D-S your home. She's an adult. Who moved out and moved on. She doesn't get to make demands. She can request to move back in and you can allow it with the understanding that this is how things will be. If she doesn't like it, she's free to move into an apartment that makes her perfectly happy. NTA the way she is acting is unbelievable. Quite frankly. If you had modified that room into a gym or something and offered her the smaller room. That would still be fine because it's your house and you're allowed to do that. The fact that she wants you to kick your handicapped son out of his handicap accessible room is. Bullshit. NTA. 
she moved out. Therefore it's no longer her room. Especially since the room was renovated for her brother's needs and it's been his room for the last two years. If she's willing to be reasonable and an adult about things, you can always offer her the smaller bedroom. Otherwise, she's 24. She can either stay at the hotel or find other housing. But your wife shouldn't be footing the bill. Kicking your son out of the room that's been designed for his needs is unreasonable. ETA. By paying for the hotel room your wife is enabling your daughter's bratty behavior. NTA because you still gave her a room she could use so it's not like she's homeless. If she doesn't like that, then tell her to get a job and get her own apartment or house then. NTA. The bigger problem though is your wife. Why is she not on the same page as you? Has she always undermined you with your kids? NTA. She's acting like an entitled brat. Your wife is too. The fact that neither acknowledge your son's needs show who their true favorite is. Sorry op. NTA. A room she hasn't used in years. You can do whatever you want literally the minute she left and she would have no say. You even got her to okay to the change in occupancy which was unnecessary but also very considerate. She can't change her mind years down the line because her personal situation has changed. She has a room to go to and if she doesn't like it, well, she already has a hotel room. Just to confirm, some commenters are unsure and you don't address it directly, your daughter is. Welcome back, but to Jonathan's old, smaller, room, right? NTA. Natalie is being ridiculous and selfish. And your wife is not helping the situation. Why would Natalie think he brother's genuine needs are less important than hers? How long is she planning to stay with you? She can sleep in the smaller room until she is ready to find her own place. Otherwise she can find somewhere else. Such as a friend's place. But she said it's her room no matter how many years she has been away from home. Ah. Uh, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. God. The second I was out of the house for college my stepmom turned my room into a guest bedroom and. Although I was a bit upset. Believe me I didn't say boo about it because I understood it was her and my dad's house and I. Wasn't living there anymore. I'm totally over it now. My stepmom is great. NTA and you were right to tell the family the truth about the situation. NTA. This one is an absolute no-brainer. And I am sorry to say that your daughter sounds utterly entitled and totally devoid of empathy. I get that she is upset over her breakup and being cheated upon. But she is using that to her advantage to emotionally manipulate the situation. I literally cannot see how her coming back to her new room is equivalent to not providing her shelter. Plus she is complaining about all this to your family. Tone deaf is not even the right word for it. And her ultimatum is kind of pointless since she is taking money from your wife. Good for you for standing your ground and doing the right thing by your son which also is not mutually exclusive in that you are not doing wrong by your daughter. However, if I were you, I would be really disappointed in this child of mine who cannot seem to comprehend her brother's situation and instead is just focused on wallowing in her breakup. NTA. You aren't denying her shelter. It was never her room. It is your room that you let her use and she has no claim to it. Even if it weren't actually your room. She willingly gave it to her brother two years ago and he needs it. This is wildly selfish behavior on her part. Also, cut off that money being sent. She has a roof and a bed sitting waiting for her at your house that you offered. NTA. Personally when you're moved out the room is no longer yours, and the parent can choose what to do.
with it. I have two older sisters and as they moved out the next oldest got the bigger room. You're so NTA. It's incredible. She doesn't get to have her room back whenever she wants it. Hell. When I stay at my parents' place. It's in a blow-up mattress in the office. Cause all the grandkids are in my room. Such stopped being my room the moment I moved out. She can sleep in her brother's old room. But she doesn't get to come back and resume being a child requiring care. She can take care of herself. Your son can't. And I can promise you. From her reaction. If she does come home. She will he expecting you and her mother to take care of her like she was still 13. Don't let this happen. You haven't favored your son over her. If anything. She was favored. But that ended when she moved out. As it should. NTA. Your daughter could move into her brother's old room. You've had it modified for your son. It's very likely that she would move out again in a couple of years. Maybe less. She's being an ass. NTA it's your house. She isn't renting a room. All of the rooms in your house belong to you regardless of her previously using the room. She's 24 she needs to grow up. NTA. She really has some balls to say anything about this. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.